If you've looked across the Lake Ontario waterfront of Queen's campus, you've thought, huh, windmills. Here's an up-close look to learn more about the Wolf Island windmills. The turbines began arriving in August 2008, shipped in 11 trips across the ocean from Denmark and up to the St. Lawrence River. From Ogdensburg, they were transferred to a special barge that ferried them 100 kilometers upstream to Wolf Island. The Queen's Journal had an exclusive interview with Grant Pike, an island local since 1941, to hear his perspective concerning life under the windmills. Full disclosure, he's my great uncle. My name is Grant Pike. I live on the south side of Wolf Island, lived here all my life. I guess I had mixed emotions at first. I was very unsure as to how I was going to be able to adapt to such a, um, a beautiful spot that's quiet and, and uh, I didn't know if it was going to upset, upset me to the point that I was going to be disturbed. And then one day I asked my son about them and uh, the way he explained it was there would have been a would be a better chance of my grandson continuing on with the farming if there was a little bit of extra income if they're not going to cause any problems. Wolf Island is the second largest wind farm in Canada. According to the Canadian Hydro Developers Incorporated, the company that erected the turbines, they crank out enough electricity to power 75,000 homes per year. At this point in time, I would have to say that probably it's turned out fine for the community and the average person that has them. The windmills hub is 80 meters high. Each blade is 45.5 meters long and weighs 28,000 pounds. The heaviest part of the high pressure system is the nacelle, weighing 194,000 pounds. It was a quite a massive project. When you consider starting this project in the fall, and finished in the spring. We had 87 of them constructed. The boys, when they would come in with the cranes to set this up, the 90 ton piece has to sit uh, on top of a 264 foot high structure. The, that 90 ton piece sits on that. Then when they go to lift the hub up, they lay, they lay the hub on the ground and hook the three 13 ton blades, which are 149 feet long each. I happened to be here when they did this one and um, it took them about 20 to 25 minutes from the time it left the ground until I heard it snap into position so they could start bolting it onto the heavy shaft. The blades will turn 17 revolutions a minute and the, the alternator coming out the back end of the gearbox, the speed will be 2200 revolutions a minute. That's at maximum then of course you don't have maximum wind all the time it's still going to generate electricity but at a lower rate in a lower wind generating energy from the wind produces no air pollution or greenhouse gases leaves behind no hazardous or toxic waste and uses no water i'm around them all the time and i never see a dead bird around them uh, the owls i'm glad that we're that I've never ever seen an owl. I'm just trying to think what the heck I have seen to tell you the truth. We've got thousands of geese here and I don't know, for some reason they're missing them. Um, uh, we could do with a few less geese, but anyway, they <laughs> seem to be avoiding them. Um, no, I, I, I think as far as the environment is concerned, I, I would hope that we're generating enough electricity from that we are helping the environment. Right or wrong, they seem to be something we've adapted to. They leave a wicked footprint. Um, uh, it's a very, very uh, great beneficial aspect of the economy of Wolf Island. Trans Alta, the company that owns and operates the Wolf Island facility through its wholly owned subsidiary Canadian Hydro Developers, operates over 70 sustainable energy facilities across the United States, Canada and Australia. The land is usually leased in 20 year increments. So at the end of 20 years, um, I don't have any myself. My son does on the farm, but there'll be a negotiation of some sort to figure out what will happen with, if they're still ready to go for another further 20 years. Thank you very much, Lauren. It's been great being with you to try to give you a little rundown of what's happened here.
Talk to you later. <laughs>